Hello seedlings, welcome to Minecraft. So you're clicking on this link, this video, whatever you want to call it, for a specific reason, and that's not to watch me play Minecraft, although if you want to, I will be, I, I have rejuvenated my love for Minecraft, as of recently. So, you clicked on this because the title's going to say something similar to Vein Miner 1.7.10. Now. I have been trolling forums, all kinds of stuff, and it's been really difficult for me to find a way to mess with the Vein Miner program because a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't work with a lot of my stuff. So, for example, let me show you what Vein Miner does in case you're not familiar. Tildo, which is that little squiggly line above your tab, it default is to hold it down, and this will happen. See that? See what's happening? So, for those of you who still haven't figured it out, Vein Miner is for hitting a block type, and Vein Miner, which is a mod you can add, will destroy all blocks that are touching that block that you hit that are the same type. So, if that was confusing, you hit a dirt block. It will kill, sorry, it will not kill. It will destroy all dirt blocks that are touching a dirt block that was touching the first block, dirt block you hit. You see how it's still going? Now, I'm in creative. So there's no, there's no food and there's no health. If you go into, let me turn it off, okay. So if you were to go into, for example, um, normal. I think it's game mode zero. Okay. Watch my health bar, or my food bar. I'll activate Tildo. See my food bar dropping? You are too hungry to use Vein Miner. So, if that didn't make sense, when you use Vein Miner, it will eat into your at 0 0.025 health or food. It will also rip through your tools. And I, I honestly think it rips through them even faster than when you um, dig manually. Oh, one maybe. There we go. Okay. Okay. So that in short, see, look at how much damage that did. Look at that. There's no more. There's no more grass top blocks. Now. So if you're trying to figure out how I did the grass top blocks, because that's not standard, I will show you. Okay. You guys are gonna see my desktop. It's gonna be really ugly. Boom. Oh, don't look at it. Okay. So I am using, for example, AT Launcher. AT Launcher is a very, very nice. Um, well, here, let me just show you guys. Go away. So yeah, this is AT Launcher. It has uh, packs that people have created. You go through and you pick what kind of pack you want. The mods have, or the packs have already been designed to work correctly. They will just work. You don't have to worry about, oh, is this mod going to work with this one? These people have already done the work. So, for me, it's open folder, uh, config, and however you get to your mods, there will be this folder here under your mods. Something like Vein Miner, it should be a folder. When you click on it, you'll see general. You're gonna want to right click, um, open, well, select it, open with notepad. Okay, when you open it, you'll see something similar to this. Now don't, don't get intimidated. First, I'm gonna tell you how to do this right now. First thing you're gonna wanna do 
is make sure yours looks just like this except this part right here the highlighted won't be there add it just like that quotation grass space block quotation this will allow vein miner to recognize a grass block as something you want to destroy that makes sense so if you're running a mod that has um i don't know we'll just throw something out there um i don't know sauce block i don't know something like that that's obviously not stock that's not vanilla so you would go in here and add, you would go space, quotation, sauce, block, quotation, space. And with that, you've just added sauce blocks to vein miner. Now, this is where it gets tricky, okay? This down here is what your computer will do. This appears for a server if you're running it. If you're not running a server, you still wanna edit this part. Now, down here, all of this is where it gets dirty and gross and delicious all at the same time. Limit of blocks to be destroyed at once. Negative one for infinite. That means that it will... So, when you hold down tilde, this tells it how many blocks to destroy, as long as you hold it down. So if you set it to 800, it will destroy a maximum of 800 blocks, even if you have more food or your tool still has um, durability to it. Set it to negative one, and it will run indefinitely until you let go or press tilde again. Requires a lot of RAM. Maximum number of blocks to be removed per game tick, which is 1 20th of a second. This, I'm having trouble seeing how it works. But I have it set to 500 and you guys saw how fast it went. Maximum distance from first block to search. I don't quite understand that one. But I have it set to 1000, which is maximum. Okay. Now down here change experience you you're probably going to want to keep this at zero so what this means is you know that little green bar if you change this number from zero say one <coughs> it will use one experience point or one magic point whatever you want to call it to activate vein miner that's going to hurt and it's going to hurt a lot i'd keep it at zero Hunger modifier. I have mine set to zero, which is 0 0.025 notches per hunger. You're going to want to keep that at zero unless you really want to make it annoying to use it. Okay, now down here, overrides. Mine all blocks with registered tools that can harvest the blocks. Yes, so that means that the vein miner will attempt to incorporate your mods to work with vein miner. So if you hit, um, for example, the red tree you guys saw earlier, that's a sakura tree. Sometimes, because it's a harvestable block with an ax, sometimes it'll harvest all of it immediately and then drop all the resources. Sometimes. I have it set the true just for safety's sake. Now, this is the same thing except the hand as well. So for like dirt or sand, you don't have to use a tool for this. This is for, this is great if you're trying to clear out a mass amount of dirt or sand or something that you can break easily with your hand. That's the way I would do it. I'd put that to true, that we don't end up wasting like a thousand shovels just to clear out a dirt mountain. So, I mean, that's, that's pretty much all there is for that. So, you guys saw the screen. Hopefully I explained it. And with that, remember, have a good day. And
Enjoy Van Manor.